boys and girls. Let's get ready to do some phonics with Miss Cameron. I'm so happy to see you here today. Okay, as a daily reminder, make sure you're practicing your alphabet chart every single day. Make sure you're practicing how you write your letters and the sounds that each letter makes. All right, so boys and girls, we're going to get ready to stretch out some words. As a reminder, you're going to need some Elkonin boxes. And if you don't have Elkonin boxes at home, that's okay. You could just draw three boxes like mine. And I have some counters at the bottom, but if you don't have counters, that is a-okay. You could just use pennies or toys or anything that you have at home. All right, boys and girls. And the last thing you're going to need is a marker. All right, let's get started. The first word we're going to stretch out is the word dip. When I say the word, when you say the word, make sure you put your counters or your anything that you're using at home inside of your box, okay? So say the word dip, all right? Let's stretch out all the sounds that we hear in the word dip. You go first. Did you do it? All right, boys and girls, let's try doing it together. Let's say the word dip. All right, let's do it. D, A. Dip. All right. Now, grab your marker. Let's see if we could write the letters to match the sounds that we hear in the word dip. Say the word dip. All right. D. Did you write the letter D? Yep, because D makes the D sound. D. E. Did you write the letter I? Yep, because I makes the E sound. D. E. Did you write the letter P? Yep, because P makes the P sound. Make sure your D is facing the right way because you don't want it to be a B. We want to make sure it says dip, not bip, right? So D, E, P, dip. Okay, your turn. All right. Did you do it, boys and girls? All right, let's get ready to do our next word. Erase, 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 erase. Erase, erase, erase. The next word we're going to stretch out is the word cab. Can you say the word cab? Okay, move your pieces into the boxes as you say the word cab. Did you do it? All right, boys and girls, let's try this one together. C -a -b cab. All right. Now let's use our markers and stretch out and write the letters to match the sounds that we hear in the word cab. Cab. K. Did you write the letter C? Yep. If you wrote the letter K, that's okay because K and C kind of makes the same sound. K. But this word starts with C, so we're going to write the letter C. K. A. Did you write the letter A? Yep. Because A makes the A sound. K. A. B. Did you write the letter B? Yep, because B makes the B sound. And always check your B that it's not a D because you don't want it to say CAD. We want it to say CAB. All right, boys and girls, let's stretch out all the sounds that we hear in the word CAB. K -a -b. CAB. Did you do it? Now let's try it by yourself. Did you do it? All right. Excellent, boys and girls. Now let's get ready to do our last word for today. Erase, 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 erase. The word we're going to stretch out today is the word rib. Can you say the word rib? All right. Move your pieces into your boxes as you say the word rib. Did you do it? All right, boys and girls, let's do it together. R a, b, rib. All right, boys and girls, let's get your marker and write the letters that we hear to match the sounds in the word rib. Rib. Did you write the letter R? Yep, because R makes the r sound. R, a. Did you write the letter I? Yep, because I makes the e sound. R, a, b. Did you write the letter B? Yep, because B makes the B sound. And make sure your B is not a D because we don't want it to say rid. We want it to say rib. All right, let's say all the sounds that we hear in the word rib. R, E, B, rib. Okay, your turn. 
great job, boys and girls. Boys and girls, thank you for stretching our words with me today. I hope you got most of the words right. And if you didn't, that's okay. Just keep practicing your letter and your letter sounds. Keep practicing your letters and your letter sounds to help you be able to stretch out new words. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time.